Today, 33-year-old San Pedrano William Godoy was escorted by police to the central prison and was remanded until April 13th for the murder of Alfredo Kowo one week ago. There has been a flurry of concerns from residents, including Godoy's relatives, who say that it is impossible that he carried out the crime against Kowo. Today, the family planned the protest outside of the police station on the island in anticipation of his transfer to the central prison. But it didn't occur and was postponed to this coming weekend because the family did not secure a permit for the peaceful demonstration. Ruth Pernilio says they were out since six this morning because they wanted to guarantee that their brother gets to prison safely. We have organized a protest, but due to the letter wasn't signed by the police in charge, and so we couldn't advance in that protest. So we got to organize it for our next day. So. so the concern, from what I understand, is that the family does not believe that, the, that William did this. It's impossible. He's innocent, and we all know it. Every, the whole San Pedro knows it, that he's innocent because my brother is not that type of person. He's, he's, just, he's a guy that just works and just, you know, take care of his family. That's all he does. I don't think it's fair to take him, but um, you know, like uh, we all understand, this is a proceed that uh, we have to get into it, and uh, we will wait uh, to his next trial or before so the, um, our attorney work on it. Godoy is well known on the island as a mechanic. He attended the wake and funeral of Kawa before his detention for the murder. According to the family, the father of three daughters and a son was at his house in the DFC area when the murder occurred on Barrier Reef Drive. They didn't have any argument, no fights, nothing between them, and that's it. But they were friends. As far as I know, they were friends. Now, what makes this impossible, that your brother was the person that fired the, the deadly shot at Kowa? It's, it's impossible because, you, you know, my brother wasn't, was at home at the moment. He, he was just, you know, I guess they're just trying to frame him or something like that. His uh, ex-wife, I would say ex-wife, because uh, he was uh, um, away from her, they were separated. And um, I think she has some uh, text messages that uh, he was texting with uh, some other girl and... Uh, is he, that's a, that's a, uh, a way of uh, proving that he was at home. The family also disputes statements made by the police who have gone on record to say that there is substantive evidence to tag Godoy for the crime. They're saying that uh, an alibi, they have an alibi for his whereabouts, all of that, but yet he was charged for the murder of this man. What kind of evidence, uh, without of course uh, trying the case, what kind of evidence does the police have uh, that secured that charge um, against Mr. Godoy? Because if I'm not mistaken, I believe a murder weapon was not recovered. Um, I know that yes, Mr. Godoy, Mr. William Godoy was charged. However, we have to go based on the evidence that we have on hand and whatsoever the different witnesses are saying, based on that is that we do arrest and charge. So was a murder weapon recovered? No, no murder weapon was recovered. Um, any kind, now that he has been, since that man has been charged, has a motive been uh, ascertained for that murder? Uh, there is no motive, as I mentioned on the, on the last press brief. At the time of his detention, he was being interviewed by police. However, he did not say any, anything much in regards to, to that shooting there. That same eyewitness is the girlfriend of Kowo, and according to her, she stated that she didn't see and she didn't see the gunman and the gunman was masked. So I don't know how she could put a face to that mask. So it's it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up at all for my brother to be the gun the gunman. The murder occurred on January 16th in front of Jaguars nightclub on Barrow Reef Drive. A masked gunman reportedly came up to Kowo and his girlfriend, who were sitting in a golf cart and opened fire. After carrying out the brazen act, the gunman would escape on Buccaneer Street. Today, the family was about to obtain a copy of surveillance video that captured the killer fleeing the scene. They believe that that video will exonerate their brother.
There is nothing important right now until um, I record a video that um, I am going to get. So um, I'm heading to the office of the camera so uh, I can uh, get the video. What is on that video? Well, according to what I understand, uh, there is a, the, the, the person that uh, made the, the shooting. So um, that's what we are trying to get and um, to prove that my brother is innocent on this. So when you retrieve this, you're going to take it over to the police so that the police can see well, that William was not involved in the shooting any other. Actually, um, I don't want to hand it to the police because who is asking for is uh, our attorney. Twain Moody for News 5.